In this video, we're going to use Visual Studio to create a very simple C program. So on my desktop, I have this folder called VS Project, and inside this folder is where I'm going to store my Visual Studio project. I'm going to come back and have a look at the files that are created in this folder when we create the Visual Studio project. Let's go ahead and launch Visual Studio. Now the version of Visual Studio I have installed is Visual Studio Community, and once it's launched, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And the template that I'm going to use is Windows Desktop Wizard. And I find this template under the Visual C++ templates. Now, where should I save my project? I'm going to save it in this VS Project folder here. This VS Project folder is on the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and select this folder. And then I'm going to step into the next stage of the desktop wizard, but first I should give the project a name. Let's call it my first project. And the next step in the wizard is going to ask me to configure some things. Make sure you uncheck these and leave um, empty project checked. And the project will then be created. And if we have a look on disk, we can see that this new folder has been created called my first project, and there are a bunch of files uh, inside this folder. Let's keep an eye on how these change as we create and compile our program. So back in Visual Studio, um, let's add a source file to the project. So we're going to add a new item. And this is going to be a C source file. Now the only template I have is this .cpp. So let's call this, um, let's say hello.c. And I can leave this folder as it is because this is my VS Project folder and I'm going to add the source file to my project. Now in doing that, I can actually see the source file up here. So let's go ahead and create our standard um, Hello World program. So now that we've written the source, we can go ahead and compile this. So from the build menu, we can select build solution. That will automatically save any changes we made to the source file, and it will do the compilation for us. And assuming there are no errors, we will get this message that the build has succeeded. To actually run this program from the debug menu, we can select start without debugging. And as you can see, the output from the program is then displayed in this command window. We can press any key to make that window disappear, and now we can go back to editing our source. So the process will be to edit the source, build from the build menu, and select start without debugging from the debug menu. Now, if we have a look on disk, notice that our source file is stored here inside the My First Project folder, and inside the debug folder, that is where the executable for the program is stored. 